Hi, it's Chris and Jane here on a fine, fine Saturday morning. I thought we woke up on Narrowboat Poppy this morning, the sun was out, blue sky. Thought, right, we're going to do a video. So we've come down to the old line that goes from Stoke to uh, Cheddleton, Froggall, and uh, the quarry at Waterhouses. Uh, when the HS2 was cancelled from Birmingham to Manchester they've always said that this line will reopen to leak I can't see it myself but uh, the government apparently said they've got the money to do it so it'll be absolutely spectacular the line was shut in 1988 I can remember it when I was a kid I, I spent a lot of time down early and I think the pa passengers finished about 19, early 1950s so we're at, a, at a, one of the old stations now, at Stockton Brook. So I'll turn the camera around and show you these spectacular views. There's nothing left, left of the station now, the platform. It's all overgrown and the, the track's in the state. So we'll, we'll go through the tunnel, old Stockton Brook tunnel, and change the other end. She didn't fancy coming through it here. All the tracks are down. It'd be absolutely brilliant if they, if they do reopen it. But the problem is, the old station at Leak used to be where Morrison's are is now. But all the tracks are all the way down now. Right the way it goes to Cheddleton, uh, Leak Brook, Cheddleton, and uh, the Chinook Valley Railway. Of, Got it from Cheddleton down to Froggall. Absolutely ma amazing. It's like uh, they've used uh, metal, sh metal shuttering on it. I think it was redone because it originally it would have been great work. Let's try and not get in too much sludge. <laughs> There's Jane, she didn't dare come through here. Oh. There it is, a little Stockton Brick Tunnel. Wave Jane! Oh, it, just, it is quite overgrown. And we'll have a walk down the track a bit. Try not getting the sludge me, leave me car. <laughs> I say I don't remember trains coming down here. In fact, I don't remember steam trains coming down because I lived a place called Norton Green. It's about half a mile away. The kids are mad on trains, aren't they? <laughs> Some kind of overflow. I'm not sure what that is. It's marvellous how they've left all the track down. Look at the leaves, all the colours. Lovely time of the year. Oh, there's an ambulance or something. All right, there, Jay. <coughs> it's funny how they say they've left the track down. In 1988. How long is How long is that? 35 years. 35 years. They usually rip them up. <laughs> I say it's a bit overgrown. Jane's got nettled. But it runs through some beautiful countryside. Moss Hill up there. We're not far off the Calden Canal. I'd say we've been walking for about an hour. Best time to do hold railways because in the summer it just goes overgrown, you can't get to see anything. But a few years ago we went and did this Silverdale to uh, Keel Tunnel. Well, that was all overgrown, nettles and all sorts. <laughs> Just to, you all right there? Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Keep going, she says. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, it goes through uh, Melton, uh, Birch's Head, uh, back end of off Victoria Road, and it joins the main line at uh, 
Stoke. Well, I say I, I can't see it opening. There's too many problems. I say that the, where this, I can remember which station. It's where Morrison's was. Anyway, we're on the canal now. That's uh, Stockton Brook flight. Got to be careful now. How did we get here? Oh no. <laughs> hey? Yeah. No, it's a big drop, isn't it? Okay. Here we go. Onto the Calden Canal. Probably will be better going down that way soon. One light fall down there. Hold on that, Jane. Look at all the leaves. They look spectacular, but you're dead slippy. And this, they, they built this here. Well, I presume it uh, relates to the city. Spitfire. Fishing. The pot banks, bottle ovens, and the pots. So, very nice. It's been there quite a few years, there's Leak Road. So, we'll carry on with the walk. Say bye, Jane. Bye. Keep subscribing and give me the thumbs up. And keep sending me lovely comments. I answer them all. It takes me a week, but I get it done. I'm a slow tech.